You want to know, is this woman a whore? And if she's a whore, G-Man, where is your proof? Because if you ain't got no proof, G-Man, you're slandering and you're just as bad as everybody else. <laughs> So I've been watching her and I think it's about time this is said. The woman's lying. The woman is not a Christian. There's some rumors going around that she's a former prostitute and maybe she played around with the idea of Christianity. Hey, 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 Bert, so I know me and you got off on the wrong, on, on the wrong foot and whatnot, but I gotta give you some of that strudel. Mm. Burnt toast. Mm. Call me burnt toast. Call me. Little girls like burnt toast who needs to grow up and enter puberty. You know what I mean? What about people like burnt toast? The little girl who needs to grow up. Right, burnt toast? Let me walk you across the street, burnt toast. Okay? Toast knows she wants some of that people's strudel. She knows it. Yeah. I'll bake you some later when you give me a call. If burnt toast gets exposed into the ground. Burnt toast. She is a whore. She's a former prostitute. Burnt toast. She is a whore. She's a former prostitute. Burnt toast. She is a whore. She's a former prostitute. Smells like rotten fish too. And I'm going to prove it. Burnt toast. She is a whore. She's a former prostitute. Burnt toast. She is a whore. She's a former prostitute. Burnt toast. She is a whore. She's a former prostitute. And I'm going to prove it. So, so anyway, burnt toast. I think me and you got off on the wrong foot. I'm gonna give you a second chance to prove yourself. All right? She, she, she's a, she's a huge, huge whore. Burnt toast. She is a whore. Burnt toast. She is a whore. Burnt toast. She is a whore. And I'm going to prove it. Remember, there's a big difference between a righteous judgment and Satan slandering the saints. I, I, I would never date Burnt Toast. I would never want to conversate with Burnt Toast. I think Burnt Toast is a jerk. I know for a fact that I, I'm really buying into the idea that Burnt Toast is only about maybe 15 or 16 years old. Burnt Toast. Burnt Toast. How is a Christian supposed to behave? I'm just curious. How is a Christian supposed to behave? What's up, guys? It's Monday night. <laughs> you missed the beginning. Oh, I'm sorry. How you doing, tour bus? What's up? So, guys, uh, we have a very interesting stream tonight. Uh, <laughs> it should be interesting. Uh, Somebody is really having a sad uh, because they're really stupid. <laughs> so we're going to get into that in just a minute. And so before we start, I do want to let people know, I do know about the BHB while and out as far as her response to Kylie's mom. I do plan on covering that in a future stream. Also, G-Man did a stream today, <laughs> sweaty and angry again. Shocker. Uh, Shani did a live today, which was weird and very fake. And then MGL faked a stroke. So, you know, I don't know if it's a full moon or something in the water, but clearly these people are going nuts. So I will be talking about all of those things in a future stream. I promise you, I'm just doing this tonight because sometimes I like to play with my cows and not just milk them. So tonight we're going to have fun. Okay. Uh, Channel 69 Girl News, thank you so much. If he's saying you're 16, then he's hitting on you. Does that make him a, oh, hey, Crane. Yes. Isn't that interesting? Yeah. Totally not uh, gross, right? Mm. Mm. Right. Uh, it's a full moon. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. But all these people seem to be freaking out today, including the person that's on the thumbnail. So little bit of backstory so you have some context and then we're gonna play a game and it's gonna be very fun i promise okay how was your weekend and mercury is in retrograde uh my weekend was awesome yep had a great weekend had actually long but good monday so i've been looking forward to this all day because i know it's gonna be really fun mm, it's gonna be great 
Okay, so a little bit of context. Uh, sometime Friday, I don't remember what time, but I started getting notifications on, you know, through YouTube that somebody kept tagging my name. So just to be clear, she wasn't just hashtagging my name. She was actually tagging my channel name. And when you do that, the person gets notified like right away. So I go into YouTube studios, go into mentions and this person I'd never seen before had tagged me like four or five times in like four or five different videos. I was like, okay, well, I don't have time to watch this now. I'll watch it later. So I, I came home from work and I was watching it. And I was like, who is this person? It's very clear that she has no idea what the fuck she's talking about. A lot of the stuff she was saying was just, it was bizarre. Anybody who's been watching Shani for, I don't know, six months is going to know that she's full of shit. And also she seemed very, very angry considering I've never spoke to her, never seen her, never uh, knew, it didn't even know she existed before that. So I just ignored it. And then it was like, probably, I don't even, I don't even, I've lost count how many videos there are now, but it's over a dozen in the last couple of days. And then of course, today there were a bunch more again, I don't even remember. Um, but I have archived them because I have a feeling that once we get into this, she may try to put them on private or take them down, but it's okay, girl, I got you. Cause I archived all of it. Cause that's, that's what I do here. So, so yeah, so I was like 50, 50 on whether I was going to stream this. And then I decided, you know what, I'm going to do what I've done with people like her in the past. Uh, and that is to, uh, have some fun with them. Cause I mean, I know it's low hanging fruit cause she's really stupid, but I mean, it's, this is my guilty pleasure. Okay, guys, this is my hobby. This is what I do when I'm not doing anything else. <laughs> so you'll have to excuse me, but this is going to be very fun. And then after this stream, I may or may not ever stream her again. So this is a one and done, unless something happens in the future. I'm not going to say always because who knows, but I do have other people that I'm going to get back to after this stream, but um, it's, this is going to be fun. Okay. So quick uh, you know, some backstory to you in the audience. Cause I, I always do my homework on people always. And it's, it's really interesting. Um, what I found out is that she evidently has a lot in common with Shani. She sure does. And I think that's part of the reason, not all, but part of the reason why she is defending her right now. Yeah. So this person, and I encourage you, I encourage you to come up with your own pet name, nickname for her, be creative, be funny, be insulting, all of the things. Um, but I have come up with a few and you can use this. I'm not going to be using her name. I have not hashtagged her channel. I'm not going to say her channel name. I'm not going to link her channel and I'm not going to tag her channel either because, well, that what would be the fun in that? Right. So uh, I, I called her copycat Shani of the group home, which is, you know, in the title, but I also have a Taco Bell Karen of the apocalypse. OK, thought that was pretty interesting. I have every lame Bryant of the group home. Mm, OK, I have wish version of Shani, probably more accurate. I have every projection of Florida. <laughs> yes, guys, she's from Florida. Right. Uh, diet Shani of every horse. A uh, bad mom of Wiber Apocalypse, Florida Badger of the bus stop, and copycat Shani of the group home, which is already in the title. So I encourage you to come up with your own name. If she pops in the chat, don't block her out. Don't ban her. Just have some fun, you know? I heard that she loves to be called a bad mom. She loves to be called unhinged and crazy. And she loves it when you put lots of laughing face emojis in the chat. A um, couple other things. Uh, she's 50 years old, like G-Man, and she's a complete bum. She has done nothing with her fucking life. No education. She has no job. She has grown children who apparently hate her. I know, it's like the future version of Shani. Uh, she thinks she is the most gorgeous woman in the world. She also claims to be both God and Satan, right? Isn't that convenient, guys? Uh, let's see. She lives in a group home in Florida 
And how we know this is because she's gone live and told everybody. So again, just like Shani, she overshares about her terrible, pathetic life. Um, she hates her family and they apparently hate her. Uh, also, she has all kinds of titles of videos uh, about her ex, what a boyfriend or husband or whatever, her ex, her, her sister, her ex-friends. Like she is almost like the, like I said, the wish version of Shani, which is, which is pretty bad because Shani is already a wish version of another locale. But these are some of the titles that she has had on her channel. And don't worry, again, I've archived them in, in case you start taking them down. So if anybody wants a copy of those, I'd be happy to send that to you. These are some of her titles, guys. And you tell me what this sounds like. Thank you, Torbus. Welcome to the dumpster fire. Thank you, uh, Saga. Welcome to the dumpster fire. I appreciate that. Okay, guys. So here are some of her titles. You tell me if this sounds like a... Um, yeah, a more pathetic version of Shani, which I never thought in my life I would ever have to say. Here's title number one. Quote, and my ex also deserves to be haunted by my love and watch someone better get it from a distance. Right. Next one. I actually do want my ex, period, space. I'm definitely going to get him back. <laughs> that was in February. How's that working out for you? Okay, next. Quote, I know my obese, ugly sister and her hideous R-word kids are involved in all of this. Wow. So just like Shani, she did a bunch of videos about her sister and her sister's children. Making fun of her nieces and nephews. I mean, what a winner. No wonder you're in a group home. Another one, my ex also started a friendship with my family after we broke up, even though they never liked each other. Mm, not passive aggressive at all. Uh, let me see. Another one says, my ex said I'm going to become a holy roller and a junkie. Well, he was half right. Um, another one that's called sister and family. Another one called sister. Another one called to my ugly sister. You can save your children or you can't, I'm sorry, you can't save your children or grandchildren because of what you did to mine. Yikes. Somebody needs therapy. And another one, uh, you are all spiritual sissy boys, not masculine at all. Very bitch made sissy boys. Wow. Totally doesn't have daddy issues either. I mean, it's great. I mean, she, again... I'm not going to spend a, like a lot of streams reviewing her. We're just going to do this one and it's going to be fun, guys. So again, feel free. Feel free to do all those things I said earlier. Come up with a funny name for her because we're not saying her name in my chat, right? Because I know that why she's tagging my name is she thinks that somehow she's going to get 11K subs and 700 people in her chat. Mm, no, because I also found out, because again, do my homework for those that are worried that she's going to somehow blow up on her channel because I'm reviewing her. Um, it turns out she's ban evading. She's lost multiple channels. And just like I said in my community tab comments, she's had multiple names for her channel. She's a fucking liar. When she made that video saying that she's had the same name the whole time, that's a lie. Um, she admitted in one of her videos today that her name used to be something else. I don't remember what it was. I have that archive too, in case you try to take that one down. Also, sweetheart. But... She has, she continues to lose her channels. Basically, she'll get like maybe a, a few hundred subs and then she loses her channel because she not only walks over the line crossing TOS, but she's get, she gets in a Mack truck and just like goes 100,000 miles past the line and eventually YouTube catches up with her. And so uh, in some of the first videos that she did about me, there were, let me see, there were death threats. <laughs> Uh, threatened threats of physical violence against my child, which I thought was so cute, right? Somebody who claims to be God is, is uh, threatening violence against a child. I'm totally sure that YouTube's going to be fine with that. <laughs> Love it. But I don't strike channels and I don't report them. Um, I don't need to because the people that I review are so fucked up that eventually YouTube catches up with them anyway. Oh, and by the way, you seem to be really upset that people make money off of reviewing Shani. So I thought I'd make money 
off of you. Thanks. Um, are we going to see any of her videos? Uh, hell yeah. And we're going to start right now. Let me share screen. This was a video that she did. Um, this was on Friday. This one was the most egregious out of most of the other ones. It's got all of the fun things in it that she likes to say. So uh, we're going to review this. And uh, trigger warning, seriously, like no joke, sarcasm aside, trigger warning, she says a lot of really fucked up shit in this. So I hope your kids aren't listening. I hope your kids aren't listening to my channel regardless. But this is, she's pretty foul. And it's videos like this that's going to get her channel taken down. So I don't really have to review her much. But here we go. Let me know if you guys can hear it okay. This is one sorry ass bitch, this toasty whore. She is, she is gross as fuck. And all, all your subs are gross too. All right, that's what's fucking gross. Is you whore. You stupid cunt. And your daughter's a stupid cunt too. Isn't she lovely? Hmm. What a peach. Like I said, uh, whether she shows up in my chat or not, feel free to come up with a fun name for her. And she's gonna, you're gonna watch her suffer. Bitch. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, this is funny. I mean, how petty can you fucking be? This bitch knows how much money Shani paid on her light bill. You know why? Because Shani told all of us. You dipshit. You could have asked literally any of these dozens of channels that have reviewed her over the years. All you have had to done was ask. And we all would have pointed to you to XX Archives, Shani for Life, Fat Courtney Love. I could have given you a half a dozen archive channels where you could actually watch the streams yourself. Where Shani gets on camera and starts e-begging and says, here guys, my light bill is this amount. This is how much is in my PayPal. And she shows her phone on the screen. But you decided to stick your nose in a bunch of dog shit that you didn't know anything about. She knows how much she owes and back, back rent. She knows how much she's gonna make next month. Again, do you wanna guess why? Genius. Because Shani tells everybody, just like you told everybody that your children took you to a group home because they couldn't stand you. Because you also are emotionally abusive. <laughs> Shocker. I mean, what the fuck? Why do you all allow this? Why do you allow this garbage, this piece of garbage to maintain in society? Oh, that's right. Because you're trash too. You go right along with it. Because you're a piece of garbage, too. You're a sorry-ass piece of garbage. And she's a sorry-ass piece of garbage. Listen to this shit, man. And creams and stuff. Um, but it doesn't, it doesn't actually get rid of severe pain. Like, there's a lot of people in this community that have, that actually have fibromyalgia. Yeah, and, she's done a lot of uh, research in this community with all the haters. She's done a lot of research with them. And they all say the same thing. Shani's I'm gonna let her finish. Shani's just doing this to get high. She's not Okay, again. Wow, this is this is like uh Shani 101 info right here. This tells me that she has not been watching Shani at all. She just didn't do her homework. She just jumps in and says, Oh my gosh, somebody who's abusive and whose kids hate them just like mine, I'm gonna start defending them. Again, guess how we know this? It's because she says this on stream. Shani is one of these people that claims to have all of the diseases instead of, except for the one that she probably does have, which is diabetes. You ask her if she has diabetes. Oh, no, I don't have diabetes, but she has all of the other things. It's become a running joke. One time there was a male content creator who was struggling with his health. He went through months and months of diagnosis and tests and all these different procedures to find out that he has MS. The second that he made a community tab post and a stream telling his audience that he had MS, 
and it was going to be his streaming was going to change because of it. She all of a sudden made a community tab post and went live talking about how now she has MS. OK, so you have to understand that when somebody like this claims that she suddenly is dying of cancer, there's people in my audience and other audiences that actually have gone through cancer. That take offense when somebody claims to have cancer and tries to scam people out of money by claiming, hey, give me money. I'm dying of cancer. So, yeah, people are going to have an opinion about that. Uh, I don't I don't know why you are not at least smart enough to understand that concept. Uh, thank you, Credible Threat. I appreciate that. I'll look at it in just a second. Not doing it for medicinal reasons, even though they do prescribe marijuana for medicinal reasons. Okay. She's so dumb. I'm going to let her finish. Uh, I'm paying being one of them. But no, those, those stories aren't accurate. The haters' stories are accurate. All, all Shani's hater stories are accurate. Oh, and by the way, in case you haven't reached max cringe yet, wait, it gets better. You know how Shani loves to have these weird accents because she thinks that that makes her better than everybody? Uh, this person also does the same thing. Mm, gosh. They said that that's not for pain. It's only to get high. Okay. That's it. Disc and back issues and all kinds of uh, very yeah. chronic, like, chronic pain that they deal with every day, and they're all telling me weed doesn't take care of that pain. So oh, girl, are you streaming this at a bus stop? Mm. Wow, that's <laughs> how's that working out for you? So she just wants to get high, and yeah. there's nothing wrong with that. But I just don't understand why. So she's if there's nothing wrong with it, then what the fuck are you mad about, bitch? Well, again, you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. What is happening is that she's getting high with her kids in the house. And they're doing really fucked up things like recording porn with their kid in the next room. There's a lot here. There's a lot of history here that you clearly don't know about. And by the way, I love that you're reviewing a stream that I did back in May. Or like it says streamed a year ago. You take a stream that I reviewed over a year ago and you are reacting to it in this video and trying to present it as if this is current. Right. Who is this? Who's the other lady? Um, I think her name is Taco Bell Karen of the Apocalypse. I'm not sure. All right. Maybe she does do it to get high. Okay. So now what, bitch? Can you not care? Can you possibly not care, Karen? Can you? You busybody whore. Is it possible for you not to care about other people and start caring about yourself? Yikes. Why do your kids hate you? Why are you in a group home? Why do you glue plastic fake jewels from like a Halloween costume on your face and act like Tila Tequila. That's, that's what I would be asking myself if I was you. Just saying. Uh, thank you, tour bus. Look at that. Thank you so much. You're crazy. <laughs> thank you. Uh, watch this group home, Shani. Re Holy shit, Toasty. Someone's in need of a good beating. Yes. I think so. I think so. No, or your own daughter? No. Okay. Wow, bringing up people's kids. That's amazing. That's great. So it's very interesting that um, I don't talk about my family online. So that tells me that you've probably watched a video that you probably shouldn't have. Just so that you know, just between you and me, just pretend like the audience is not here, okay? I know you're really fucking dumb. But I'm, let me just help you out, okay? That video that you're referencing is of a minor child, and it's not my child. That's somebody else's child. And those parents are now legally going after people who continue to pass around the docs of their child. Just saying, you don't want to mess with their family. Just, just putting that out there. But, I mean, keep doing you. 
we'll see how this ends. Um, Jules tells all member for th 13 months. Thank you so much. Sorry, I'm late. I was cleaning my house. Oh, that's awesome. Looky here. Wow. Somebody who has a house because they have a job. It's an adult. Wow. Imagine being 50 and you still can't adult. Mm, can't relate. Thank you, Anthony Reeves. Appreciate that. Shani sure seems to draw quite the fan base. It's almost like toxic personalities are determined to feed off of each other to justify their behavior. Isn't, yeah, it's very interesting the people that show up out of nowhere and start defending her. Almost all of them seem to have this personal wound when other people review Shani. And, I, and I've been thinking about this a lot. And I think that not all of them, because some of them just believe the, the crying woe is me bullshit. And they don't know that there's a history and that she's lying. But I think the vast majority of the people, including this uh, genius here that we're reviewing, that they see part of themselves in Shani. And so when other people review them and point those things out, they feel some type of way. They get salty and then they make videos like this. So, you know, lie about it. Oh, maybe like, you're so busy. You can keep track of everyone. You're just such a busy, busy body. You want to get high, say you want to get high. Don't claim it's your medicine that takes care of some imaginary Shut pain up, that you won't even go to the she doctor. She can say whatever the fuck she wants to say. It's not in any of your business. You should mind your own business, bitch. Damn. Doctor, and By the way, you know those people that you hear doing construction in the background? That's work. You should probably get one of those and formally diagnose right right you went to the doctors with shine catch me if you can i know a lot of states were weren't kicking people out because of covid because that's ending so they should be getting evicted any day yes so yes. the moratorium yes, we're waiting uh, the we're just waiting to see shiny evicted we're gross people oh i mean we're good people that's what good people do they make money off of somebody and then watch and laugh while that person we'll let her finish. that you're making money off of suffers. Um, if the person is a child abuser, a scammer, a racist, and a domestic abuser, and a homophobe, and a, and a liar who has tried to destroy other people's lives, their parents' lives, their siblings' lives, and now has had her child, her children taken away from her for the sixth time because she allowed her boyfriend to beat up the 12 year old autistic child. So yeah, those kinds of people, I am going to laugh at them and make money off of them. And so is everybody else. Are you jealous? Because you have a YouTube channel. If you would stop being such a fucking nagging badger and complaining all the time and do like actual real content that people found entertaining, then maybe you can get to a thousand subs and get monetized there's nothing stopping you from making money like everybody else. But I find it very interesting that you're making videos about me saying that I'm complaining when that's all you are doing right now. And I know this is hard because words are hard. Everything over three letter words are hard. I understand that. Okay. But things like criticism and complaining are two different things. You might want to look those up. That's the way to be a good person here, okay? And constantly complain about them. Figure out everything, every little nuance about them. That's how you be a good person here. Yep. Moratorium in their state ends June 30th. So right there, that tells you the date of the video that she is reviewing. Because I saw somebody said, oh, are they getting evicted? No, this is a stream from like May of 2021. And she's reviewing it as if it's current. This is when they were in Colorado in the townhome. And they eventually got, are you ready for this genius? Criminally evicted for child abuse, domestic violence, and illegal drug things going on. So yeah. Yeah. And by the way, it was their neighbors 
and the uh, rental office that kicked them out because the mor moratorium was um, lifting after the shutdown back in 2021. And they were like $20,000 behind in rent. So yeah, they were getting kicked the fuck out. So right, they've we're already on, we're on We're on it. We're on the timeline. Okay, we're waiting. We're just waiting. We're waiting to see Shani's misery. <laughs> and that they have gotten a letter from the rental office giving them a deadline to pay all. <laughs> By the way, I love that you watched my ads on my videos. Mm, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Channel 6 Girl News, thank you so much. Got a dip, but I'll catch you on the replay. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, she will never be monetized because she is the sort of person who does not know their own social security number. Probably not. Also, the thing is, is that if I went live and did nothing but whine and complain and call everybody whores every five seconds, I would have nobody in my audience, which is why, genius, you went live Saturday night and nobody showed up. I didn't even know you went live because most people are working the next day. So they go to bed at a reasonable hour. But somebody sent me the, scre the um, screen recording. <laughs> you went live and you were thinking that you were going to get all these people in your chat. <laughs> Literally nobody showed up. There it said one person waiting or one person watching one person. And it was probably the person that was screen recording you for me. And then you got mad because nobody showed up and then you put it on private. Way to go. You really showed me. People out because of COVID because that's ending. So they should be getting evicted any day. Yes. So the moratorium. Yes. Yes. Uh, the COVID yes. yes. So let me get my business straight. I mean, Shani's business straight. Shani's business is my business. If you put something on YouTube, it becomes everyone's business. It's now open to criticism. Everyone who gets on this platform chooses how little or how much of their personal life they share with their audience. And there's no shade. Peep, that's a person's prerogative to choose how much they want to share and what they don't want to share. But you just have to understand that if you do share something online, especially on a live stream, it's now open to criticism. Uh, I, I, I don't know what to say. Like, I don't understand why all these little cows don't understand that. Because that's what I make my money off of. Because I'm an indecent whore. I mean, a good person. Motorium in their state ends... June 30th. Uh -huh. So uh -huh. they've already explained. Do they still get benefits without the boys? Um, I think they do still get EBT, but it's probably less because they don't have the kids anymore. That's deducted, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah. Explained that they have gotten a letter from the rental office. Right. Giving them a right. deadline to pay all of their back rent. Right. Or at because least you called the rental of office. You call no more. Okay, moron. Okay, nobody called her rental office. You idiot. She did a stream holding up that pink piece of paper that says you are being criminally evicted. Ask anybody in the chat. We've seen the video. It was May of 2021. It's on like a bajillion different channels. Everybody's reviewed it. It's also on a ton of archive channels. They went live crying and screaming, begging for G-Man to help them because they were being criminally evicted. That's how we found out is because they're putting this on their YouTube channel. Wow. I mean, I don't know if you didn't graduate high school, but you really, really, seriously, like, wow. Again. If you don't know what the fuck you're talking about, you should probably ask a question instead of making an absolute fool of yourself, which is what you're doing here. Tara Lee, thank you so much. Welcome to the dumpster fire. And she is called the rest rental fire. office and did your investigation. 
Yes. Yes. Good people torment people online. That's what good people do. Good responsible adults. Really, just like you have now posted videos with death threats in them toward me. In fact, there was one stream I can't even review because you were calling for me to be great minus the G. Is that what a good person does? Because I have never wished that on Shani. Just asking. They know how to take care of themselves and their own children and other people's children. And other people, that's what good people do. And and we're good people here. Um, she hasn't had got her kids back yet. No, no, they took them the end of June, and no, she and she's probably not going to be getting her kids back. I hope she never gets them back. I hope just like Vaughn's kids, they get adopted uh, because they don't need to be going back to her. And I don't really give a shit whose feelings that hurts. But that's the truth. That's how I feel. I've said that from the very beginning. She does not need to have those kids, period. And the state of, uh, what is it, Pennsylvania also agrees. Thank you, isolationist. Ooh, she doesn't know, but she'll find out in due time. Oh, yes, she will. Oh, yes, she will. Because the type of attention that you're going to get from this is not what you're thinking. And they, they don't have the money for that. Um, <clears throat> so instead of doing the adult thing, and that right. is to move out, downsize. Because right. the adult thing is to worry about everyone else's business but your own. Yes, that's the adult thing to do. We must. We must concern ourselves with Shani only. We Imagine defending child abuse. And then also claiming to be a god. Yikes. Uh, Mr. Cammy, thank you so much. Bruh, I was looking away and didn't realize the claims of that lady were on the video and not in a call on stream. I thought you roasted her into silence. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah. I originally, that, that reminds me, I originally was going to invite her because that's generally my, uh, what I do when I have new people is that if I review you, you have the right to come up here and defend yourself. However, in my homework, because unlike her, I actually do my own research. What I found is that uh, she'll probably porn bomb me or say a bunch of fuck shit that will get my stream taken down. So that's not happening, but she's not blocked. Uh, she's been commenting obsessively in my comment section. I've been pretty much ignoring her for the most part. Because she doesn't make sense. And she's not blocked in here. Um, but notice how she's not commenting. Mm, I wonder why. We must never concern ourselves with ourselves. What we are doing is good. We don't think about that. We don't think about what we are doing. We think about what Shani is doing. And Shani is doing everything wrong. And I am made a channel to make money off of her doing everything wrong. Once again, don't know what you're talking about. I wasn't monetized until last year. I started this channel because Shani racially attacked me, and I had no idea who the fuck she was. I had never made a video in my life. I didn't have a YouTube channel, didn't know about any of this. I was one of those people that casually watched YouTube for random music videos or tutorials. I didn't pay attention. I was never commenting in chats. And then after that, I was like, I want to know who this person is. So I started doing some, some homework, searched her name in YouTube and watched her videos, watched other people talking about her videos. And I, I felt like that I had something to say. And so from, I think it was November of 2019 when I posted my first video all the way until the middle, or I think it's spring of 2021, I wasn't monetized at all. So I did it because it's my hobby. It's still my hobby. But once again, you are you keep bringing up the money thing. I mean, honey, if you're broke, which, I mean, let's just be real, get your ass a job. Okay, this is my hobby. If you are jealous that I'm making some extra spending money on my hobby, I don't know what to tell you. Once again, 
everybody has the same opportunity on this platform to become monetized and make their own money. If you have a channel and you're putting out content that people enjoy, then make money. That's what you should do. To deal with the, the bullshit of YouTube drama, yeah, at least make a little bit of money from it. But don't be jealous just because people are making money and you're too lazy to get off your ass and actually get a real job. And I'm not motivated to tell the truth about Shani because I wouldn't make much money. No, will I? So I, I'm motivated by lies, but I'm a good person. I'm a good, good person. This is what good people do. This is what good responsible parents do here to take care of the children and other people's children. Both of them get jobs. Um, but we want to help all the, of the children. We want to help the children. We will just complain, and that will make everything better. Once again, how do you know that? If you had actually watched a stream within the last two months, you would have known that it was in part the people who had reviewed her and archived all of these streams that she had long since deleted that had proof of the child abuse happening in real time on a live stream. That's how we know it's happening because she was doing that shit on stream. There was animal abuse, child abuse, domestic violence. There was all kinds of stuff that was happening in front of everyone live on a stream. And it was because of the people that archived those streams after Shani tried to delete them. Those streams were sent by mandated reporters who were bound by law to report things when they see them happening. And that is why CPS got involved from the very beginning. And then they ended up losing their kids, or it's her kids, not his, because her boyfriend beat the kid up and he went to jail for it. He admitted it. This is not speculation. Like, you can look up his criminal record. He went to jail for like 14 days. So yeah, all of these people exposing the child abuse and all these all the other stuff that's been happening did in fact help the children because where they are right now is somewhere that is amazing. They're with a loving family. They actually get to eat food because she was starving them while she's 600 fucking pounds. They're getting to go to the school, going to school for the first time. They went to the dentist for the first time. So yeah, they're in a much better place. And the fact that you are defending a sack of shit like this tells me all I need to know about you. No wonder your kids hate you. Thank you, tour bus. Thank you so much. Here's a little more hobby money. Get mad. Group home. Shanny, you fucking freak. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's amazing. Um, thank you, Bethulu. Sorry, I'm late. We'll rewatch from the beginning later to figure out what the fuck is going on. We got a new Lowell's heifer here. Yep, sure. Sounds like it. Sure sounds like it. It's clear this woman doesn't understand how the system works, and she clearly doesn't know, Shani. Way to show your whole ass to the internet, ma'am. Clown. I agree. Um, who is that? Uh, you said Shelly, but I think you mean Shani says she doesn't do boying things and it's too busy meditating. Oh, I don't know who you're talking about. Therefore, she will not be joining us tonight. Obviously, I corrected the grammar and language. Oh, are you talking about this person? Oh, I don't know. I have no idea. For us. We will feel better about ourselves if we just complain about other people's children and the way they raise their children. Then we won't have anything. To concern ourselves with our okay. own children. Wow, I thought her brain like malfunctioned there for a second. It's okay. Sometimes when you're really dumb, your brain has to reboot. I get it. Uh, why would someone live in a group home? Does it mean she's sick or injured? Nope. Uh, she's 50 years old and she refuses to work. 
So she's homeless. And her family doesn't want anything to do with her because she's abusive to them too. Uh, Bernto, sorry, I call this woman Shelly because she sounds like a sister from South Park. Oh, okay. Okay, South Park reference. Got it. Cool. Yep, she does. Doesn't she? She does. Okay, all children, yes, they're going to hell. Oh. They're going to suffer. Oh, so now, because she's such a great person, all of our children are going to hell and they're going to suffer because we exposed a child abuser. Wow. Big brain. For all of eternity, for what we're doing. But we cannot think of that. We can just think of Shani. We can only think of Sh Shani, oh. what Shani's doing. Oh, did, you, did you forget to swallow? Yeah, I know that dumb people, they're so dumb, even their body doesn't know what to do sometimes. It's okay. It, just drink some water. You, you'll, you'll be good. What's Shani doing? How much is she ordering? How much is she owing in her light bill? How much suffering can we see Shani go through? By the way, I apologize ahead of time for my overseas subs who actually do have a European accent of some sort and are going to hear this and probably spit out your coffee, I apologize. For our own monetary gain. Those things down, you know, getting rid of extra expenditures and things like that in an apartment that they can't afford. Wow. <laughs> and so what's going to happen June 30th? Oh, you guys are funny. She's not going to join the chat because it is past her group home curfew so she can go to the McDonald's parking lot to steal Wi-Fi. She sounds drunk as hell. Is is this what I sound like talking to me? No, Wilson. See, you're actually funny. You're a funny drunk. This woman, not so much. <laughs> Probably, you know, uh, the Wrong. rental office is going to show up um, and try to get in. Wrong. And Jason's not going to answer the door. And so they're Wrong. probably going to have to get the police to escort Wrong. them in. And then that's going to be yes. really you know interesting. All. You know it all. <laughs> yeah, actually, that's that's actually what happened. <laughs> yeah, the police showed up and told them they had to get the fuck out. That Again, Shannon made a video about it. That's, that's, yeah, okay. You have it it's all really figured out. All these people's lives. You know what they're going to do. Why do we even have to wait? We already know. You know it all. Because more than likely, that was my dog. Um, my dog sneezing. <laughs> Sorry about that. <clears throat> but yeah, the, the rental office is going to probably have to sue them. Not just for rent, but for all the damages and everything right, else. So right, right, just... right, right, right. Oh, right. Oh, you and inspected the house. You went and inspected the home. Oh, sound like a broken record now. Uh, no, moron. Uh, there were pictures of the inside of the house. Once again, you could have asked, and I would have gladly sent them to you. If you were confused as to why people knew what the house looked like, we have a video of that too. You could have asked a question, but okay. Anthony Reeves, thank you so much. At least three different accents and personalities switch ups in about half an hour. I'm actually feeling nostalgic for Pergos. Oh, I remember that guy. Yikes. Oof. He was supposedly doing a documentary about all of us, remember? That was like two years ago, I think. I wonder how that's coming along. Yeah, it's not impressive, Burntos. My Scottish mother just asked a WTF. I was I just replied a drunk bus stop shanty. <laughs> oh my gosh, y'all are hilarious. She's an entire unmedicated mental episode, pretty much. And you know they're not going to get their security deposit back. She didn't. And, oh. and by the way, because this is now a year and a half later, we know that they did not get their security deposit back. Service announcement, guys. Don't do meth. Okay? Meth is bad, okay? Oh. Well... Well, good thing you went and inspected their home and saw all the damage, all the damage that they were doing to the home. Banging pots and pans around, all the damage they've done. Right, right. 
it's it's going to be a mess, and I feel bad only yeah. for the kids because Shannon right. Rev. Right, they I deserve feel bad. Every I feel bad for the kids. Yeah. Yeah. You want to know my? You want to know why? Asshole. Because she was starving them, and they were laying in their own excrements and peeing in corners and treated like feral animals. So yeah, I do feel bad for them. For a Shani, fuck no. She is exactly where she deserves to be. In fact, you know what? I just had an epiphany, guys. Now that Shani is like crashing in a hotel room, I'm sorry, <laughs> motel room, I just had a great thought. Maybe Shani can also move to Y Boy, Florida and be in the same group home with this chick. They'd be besties. Okay. And that's all I'm going to do is I'm going to complain. That's how bad I feel about the kids. Oh, and by the way, just so that you know, <laughs> uh, in one of these other videos, that was too foul for me to even review because I'd probably get a strike if I did. She said, quote, and this is her exact words, quote, I don't care how she treated her children, end quote. So, I doubt she has the right to say that other people aren't good or bad or that she's some arbiter of morality on YouTube. Get the fuck out. Is I'm going to complain for them on their behalf, and that will help them because I care more. <laughs> Streamer group for home. Shani's children, and Shani cares for her own children. Yes. <laughs> Can y'all yes. imagine Shani going live in the group home and Shani and this person be like, What's up, guys? Streamer group home. That would be amazing. It's true. It's true. That they're going to get. Agree, Linda. The kids don't deserve this. Right. So I hope right. that at right. one point. Right. Maybe your child doesn't deserve to have a mother like you. A gross mother like you. There you go. Bringing up people's kids. You know, I'm letting you know right now. You keep it up. You keep that up. You see what happens. And that's not a threat. That's a promise. Have you ever thought about that? Maybe your child doesn't deserve to have a mother like you. But maybe she does, because maybe you are cut from the same cloth. Okay. Projection. <laughs> so don't worry about your own child. Worry about Shani's children. Yes, don't worry about your children. Your child is fine, right? Going straight to hell to be suffered and tormented for all of eternity. Don't worry about Shani's children, about my child. I'm worried about Shani's children. I I'm sorry, uh, where are your kids? Oh, that's right, they disowned you. Yikes. You know, the kids could find some stability, you know, whatever that looks like. Right, <laughs> I'm gonna give her, I'm gonna help Shani with her stability. By watching her get evicted. And Apparently, you also have reading comprehension chall challenges. Um, I was going to say something mean, but um, no. What I said was that the kids needed stability. I am not ever going to help Shani. I don't give a fuck if she has stability or not because she is a grown-ass woman who needs to get off her lazy ass and also get a job like you. Like, seriously, you guys should be friends. And suffer and, and, and complain that she's doing everything wrong. And I'm going to make money off of Shani so that I never have to face this nightmare myself. I will do anything not to go, with, go through what Shani's going through. I will do anything including complain on the computer for all day and all night. But I would never want to be sh Shani being evicted from my home. That doesn't make any... My, my God, you were dumb. Okay, that doesn't make any sense. 
I'm not 600 pounds. I have a job. I don't abuse my family. I don't abuse my spouse. I have an actual house. I don't abuse my kids. I don't get in trouble with the law. I haven't done any of the things that Shani is doing. If I did do the things that Shani was doing, I would deserve the same thing that she's getting right now. <laughs> uh, where, like, what caused you to be 50 years old in a group home because your family doesn't want to take care of you anymore because you are a moocher who won't get a job? Maybe you should be looking in the mirror asking these questions. But I don't realize yet. And I'm going to suffer for all of eternity, and so is my daughter, and so is my whole lineage. It's going to suffer for all of eternity. But I only care. Wow. Okay. I'm helping Shani by complaining. Okay. Again, this is criticism. It's not complaining. What you're doing is complaining, and it's fucking like. No wonder you're single. I, no wonder you complain about your ex leaving you. My God. Like, there is a big difference between somebody just badgering somebody in video after video after video and then somebody who's giving criticism and having a good time. If I was boring and complaining, I would not have almost 500 people in here right now. I guarantee you that. I guarantee you. That's probably why you did live stream and nobody showed up. Just saying. So I'm going to go ahead and skip to the next one because this is boring. So this is what I did. That's what I did. I went on her channel and I found a video not too long ago where she's doing the exact same thing that she claims that we are all doing. You should not have left this on your channel, girlfriend. So some of the things that sound familiar that these motherfuckers do is like... Um... She's complaining about her family. <laughs> By the way, shocker. If I'm such a whatever, fill in the blank, then why did you say this, blah, 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 you know, stuff like that. In other words, you know what you did when you did it. Okay. <laughs> and it's all manipulation, but that shit is literally in the past. Okay. That's how I felt back then. So, hmm. I'm so she makes a bunch of videos about her sister and her nieces and nephews, calling them ugly, calling them names, making fun of them. But guys, that was so a month ago. That was in the past. Why are they upset with it now? I'm like moving forward in time and they're, they're going to stay in the past because they can't get past, you know, their own egos. Right. Okay. It's impossible. All right. So it's like fighting, you know, you're trying to save somebody that literally can't be saved. So everybody made their own decisions and, you know, chose their teams, chose their sides a long time ago. So it's no, it's no, it's no time to turn back now. You just got to, you know, accept the consequences of what you've done. Wow. It's almost like she's saying the same things that I've said about Shani, right? Dealing with the consequences of your own actions. Interesting. Um, not quite at mush mouth stage. Yeah, not quite, but close. Peak Lowell's cow reeing into the void. Yeah, that's, I, I don't understand why they do this, but because they do this, what happens? They overshare and then they get mad when people are like talking about their life. Whether you like it or not, whether you want to or not, but it don't matter. And yeah, these are the type of just low level tactic, mind manipulation, bullshit. And they'll, they'll literally, they have a sexual uh, depravity, a sexual deviance where really, they really do get off to, you know, harming others and stuff like that and that oh my gosh are you complaining Ugh, you're a complainer alcohol that's just like if you were a confident if you were a truly confident person you wouldn't need alcohol oh okay oh 
So all that all that confidence is fake. Oh, um, not her telling somebody else not to drink alcohol. And then in the streams and the videos that she did recently saying that I was a whore because I said that Jason shouldn't drink around the kids. Wow. There's a word for that. Mm, what is it? Ah, hypocrite. You know, that's why like they, they drink their way to courage. Okay. They, they can't do the thing. And then, and then they will also use alcohol as it, it's like a crutch. You know what I'm saying? Like, Oh, really? You know, how are you going to be able to talk to these girls if you're not drinking alcohol? And they just don't know how to relate to other beings. Right. So I'm going to ask you the same thing that you asked me about Shani's videos. Uh, why is it any of your business? Hmm. Yeah. You see how dumb that sounds? But they also need other beings. And their biggest fear is being alone. All right. Because they don't have anything <laughs> to provide for themselves. And other people fuel them. So if, they, if you cut that off, then they really don't have anything. And that's where they're locked in a prison in their mind. It's amazing to me that she thinks she can get up here and do a stream like this and then get mad when other people are doing the exact same thing. It is. It's amazing projection. Just a little bit more of this, and then there's a couple more that I want to show you guys that are really funny. You're you're absolutely delusional and fooling yourself only if you think that people that drink alcohol on a regular basis are going anywhere but to hell. Okay. <coughs> Yikes. I already told you guys that shit ruins you. It destroys you and you know you made the ch you made the choice. That's why you're aging so quickly. All right. Again. Wow. Projection. Projection. Okay. We're going to move on to another thing because she starts get getting repetitive at this point. So then we're going to fast forward. Oh, wait, no, I'm sorry. We're going to listen to a quick thing that she did about her sister. Because you know, guys, she's a god and she is above having opinions about people on the Internet. She would never, ever. Ugly ass fucking dog ass sister, quote unquote sister, um, is sending subliminal messages because I know that she's fucking watching me. So yeah, so here she went full targeted citizen, right? And she thinks that her sister is sending her subliminal messages through the interwebs. This is just gold. And, you know, she's sending me subliminal messages through her, her Facebook and someone thought it was funny. So they sent it to me to see because I literally never check on that bitch. Okay. Hmm. The bitch is disgusting. But yeah, I got sent some shit today. <laughs> and yeah, the bitch is in total fucking disgust bear right now okay she's clinging on to the last bit of you know wow i think her brain is starting to uh run down the title of the stream this is her title to my ugly sister you can't save your children or your grandchildren because of what you did to mine she sounds peachy <laughs> and so then there was this stream that she did just yesterday where she was shall I say complaining about people who had commented in her chat so shout out to 
Toby memes. Don't know who you are, but uh, apparently she's very mad at you. I'm uh, just going to say this because there's a lot of stupid people like this that's not getting it. And it's going to take them a while to get it. Let me tell you something, cunt. I'm not trying to entertain you. I'm entertaining my damn self at your expense. So I really don't expect you to like it. Okay? So when you come and say, you're not entertaining, you're not as entertaining as Shani. It's actually true. I mean, Shani does have some entertaining value. All you do is just basically whine and complain. I mean, Shani does crazy things and she also complains. But again, there's something about her. And I think it's because you're like the generic off brand made in China version of Shani, where it's just not as good as the same. It's like taking a piece of paper and making like a copy of a copy of a copy. You're like 50 copies back from Shani, which is pretty sad because Shani is not that great to begin with, but um, at least she has some sort of entertainment value and, and you don't, which is why this is going to be the pretty much the only stream I'm ever going to do about you. Really? Really? You sure you don't want to do hours and hours of live stream? complaining about every little thing that I do while I'm not even fucking thinking about you. Right. You're not thinking about me, but you have tagged me a ridiculous amount of times. I think you've tagged me probably 20 times since Friday. 20 times since Friday, including a live stream that you took down. Bruh. Get some therapy. That's why I tear you all apart on the inside. You don't like to see yourselves the way you are. Just admit it. Just admit it. It's not that I'm not entertaining you. You just don't like the way you look. You don't like the way I make you look. That's the truth. That's why you're not entertained. Because it's at your expense. Okay? Just like sh so, okay, great idea, but you failed. You're just you're showing your whole ass here, like you are making yourself look like a fool. You're saying things about things that you don't know and you don't understand. And instead of actually either doing your research or asking questions, you just make assumptions and then you re into void in five thousand videos about the assumption, and the assumption happens to be wrong. Like you're making a fool out of yourself and it's, it, we're laughing at you. We're not laughing at anything else. We're, we're literally laughing at your stupidity. Is this group home a shelter for homeless or one for psychologically unstable people that I have no idea. I do know that she, you know, her, her family left her there and they're like, we're done. <laughs> we're done. And I know that she won't get a job and she's like 50 and still acts like a 12 year old. So who knows? Maybe it's a little bit of both. Shani's probably not entertained by any of your channels. Don't care. It's I don't care what a child abuser feels or doesn't feel. I don't care. I, I literally don't care if I hurt her feelings. She shouldn't be a child abuser. Probably not amusing to her that you all have hours and hours of live streams talking about her. <laughs> Right? Oh, David, that's right. Are you not entertained? Oh, my God. She is Russell Crowe. Yes. <laughs> that's a good point. So why should, why should you expect entertainment from me when you are my entertainment? Okay? <laughs> I'm showing you what you all look like. And you don't like it. It's gross. It's ugly. You're stupid. You're garbage. You're trash people. And with my videos, clearly explaining it to you in a way that you might understand, you can see for yourself how gross and repulsive you are. And what So you decided to do that by making death threats to people's kids. Wow. I would have not picked 
that approach. But uh, go on, I guess. What a joke all of you are. And what garbage people you are. So why do you keep coming to me complaining, complaining that I'm not entertaining you and you're going to have to run off now? Okay, wow. I just realized she doesn't understand what a troll is and doesn't understand sarcasm. Wow. I feel sorry for her now. Maybe not. But no, um, <clears throat> again, sad that I have to explain this to you. Okay, genius. Uh, that Toby person was trolling you. There's other people that have left comments trolling you and you are not getting the joke because you're the joke. You are literally the punchline and people are doing it on purpose. <laughs> uh, wow. Okay. <laughs> right. Righto. I told you you would do that. You're not, you're not, you're not entertaining us. You're boring us. This, this isn't amusing. Yeah, because it's at your expense. It's intended that way. Understand that. Okay? When I say I want to be your lulz cow, I don't, I don't care. Okay, about being your lulz cow. You can't get any jokes out of me. All you can get from me is torment and suffering and a view of yourself that you never wanted to see. Um, my life is not perfect, but it's pretty great. How about yours? How's that group home food working out for you? Having to do live streams at the bus stop because probably nobody in the group home wants to listen to your fucking ass. Have you talked to your kids lately? Oh, right. That's right. They don't speak to you. When's the last time you had a job or volunteered or did anything? Did it like literally did anything other than wake up and film 50 videos on your live stream? Like, do you realize that this person has over a thousand videos on her channel? A lot of them are privated. But if you actually go to like Social Blade and some of these other places, she has over a thousand videos on that channel. And she's only had the channel for a short time. Do you know how many times a day she has to post a video to have a thousand videos in a short amount of time? Right. So, hmm. Her plan is to get Burnt Toast to send her a thousand or 11K subs to her. Then YouTube will be her job like Shani. Yeah, that's. Again, that's not happening because what I have found out is that she has lost her channel over and over again. She gets to a couple hundred subs and then YouTube takes her channel down. Like I said earlier, she's already posted, I think, like four or five different streams or videos that could easily get her channel struck down, making physical threats of violence against children and people, uh, death threats and wishing grape on people, minus the G. You get what I'm saying. Like that's, as against TOS, I don't have to do anything. YouTube's going to come for her ass. And I'm just going to laugh because one day I'm going to be like, oh, hey, I haven't, I haven't heard from her in a couple of months. And then I'm going to check her channel and it's going to be like, uh, channel was terminated. And then I'm going to take a screenshot of that. And then I'm going to laugh about it in the next live stream that comes up after that, just so that you know, because that's actually what's happening. That's, that's going to happen. So I'm sorry that you think you're some kind of a god or you say that you're God and Satan, which is weird. But I mean, go ahead and say whatever you need to do to help you sleep at night. But that's, no, I'm telling you what's going to happen. You're going to lose your channel. Thank you, BGTV. Who is this, a comic book villain? <laughs> she probably would like to be, but she doesn't have the charisma or the intelligent intelligence to pull that off. Uh, Nick James, thank you so much. Hello, I'm at work. It's a slow day. I just wanted to say hi. By the way, hi, G-Man. You have the pen paper, that pen paper calculator and ready to read the comments. Yeah, G-Man is, he was very upset today. <laughs> he was very upset. I don't know what his deal is, but he is so obsessed with drag. I, I don't even, I got nothing. Uh, yes, it doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't work. The Shanny plan, right? Yeah, how'd that work out for Shanny? And Shani had dozens and dozens and dozens of people reviewing her, talking about her, 
and she couldn't get more than a little bit of subs. I think she would get to a thousand subs, lose her channel, get to 2000 subs, lose her channel over and over. And now she can't even have a channel on YouTube at all. And on Twitch, even though people are still reviewing her on Twitch, she gets what three people watching her, 10 people watching her. So no, it doesn't, it doesn't work long time, uh, long term. Because you thought you could do whatever the fuck you wanted to do. Because you are on the internet and you're anonymous. And it doesn't matter. I can be however I want. But how you are on the internet is how you really are. It's not. Wow. Okay. See, that tells me that she has no life outside of, of YouTube. This is YouTube. For most people, this is just one of the things that they have with the rest of their life. If this is all that you have, that's pretty sad. That's pretty pathetic. Like, no wonder you feel like that you have so much in common with Shani. It's not how how you are in real life, because you're not, you all are not like this in real life. You have no courage in real life whatsoever. You have. Okay. Bitch, pull up then. I mean, don't be, don't talk about it, be about it. I can guarantee you I am like this in real life, the same that I am online. Okay. But if you want to test that, pull the fuck up. You have none. You have no life inside of you. Oh, that's right. You have no car. Does the bus drive all the way over here? I'm not sure. You just bang around into walls dead inside. And you never say anything. Okay? You wait till you come on the computer so you can show how disgusting and ugly you are on the inside. Who you really are. It's not for entertainment. It's not for jokes. It's not anything like that. It's who you really are. Okay? You're cowards. You will only act like this online. In real life, you would never act like this. And we know because you don't. It's so... But that's so weird. Like, how do you know what all of these people in my chat do or act in real life? You can't possibly know that. I would like I would never presume to know what all of these people in my chat do for a living, how they are all like that would be a ridiculous thing to say. How could you possibly know what all of these people are like outside of YouTube? The only reason why we know about Shani is because she puts all of her life on online. And then it got so bad that her parents had to actually make videos because she was slandering them to the point where they thought they were going to lose their job. So yeah, <laughs> you have no idea, none whatsoever, but you talk a big game, don't you? Don't you? Yeah. Okay. Something tells me that in real life, you know that you're a loser, which is why you have to do all of this. Cause I don't see anybody tagging your name. But you like tagging all these other people's names because you're tagging people. I don't even know who half the people are. That, that says a lot. Like you're, you're incriminating yourself right now. And I love the fact that you, you just show your whole ass. Like you, you show people what your insecurities are. <laughs> and it was so easy for me to point them out and tell people to poke at them. Weird. Everybody on the internet acts like a turd. But everybody in real life acts like they're so sweet and nice and so good. When they know damn well, there ain't nothing but a turd on the inside. That's what the internet it has done. It's shown God a glimpse into your hearts, into your evil, wicked hearts, and how repulsive and ugly you are. And then when I show you, you don't want to see it. You want to Wow. Yep. So you don't want to come in my chat, but you're going to post that account. Right. That's what I thought. Yeah. See, that doesn't, that doesn't bother me. Let's see. Looky here. Nice. Okay. Thanks for sharing. I'm going to run away because you're not entertained. Oh, you thought you were going to get hours and hours out of me of lulls? No, bitch. I'm going to get hours and hours out of you of lulls at your expense. And it's going to be painful. Okay. okay. Wow. 
Um, LOL means laugh out loud. So if you're laughing, that means you're not sitting here badgering people and boring my audience to death. I've had 20 people leave because you're so fucking boring. Okay, I don't expect you to like it. I expect you to try to run, but you're not going to be able to because now I'm going to tag you in every video and make sure you see them. And you're, I'm taking advantage of your weak human nature. You realize that you just admitted to breaking TOS, right? Like you can't do that. You can't just tag someone every single day, 10 times a day, just to be a bitch. That's called harassment. But please, please keep doing it. You're just getting closer to losing your channel for like the 50th time. Because you can't help but to go find out what, what's being said about you. Okay, you're easily, easily taken advantage of. I actually don't give a shit. Like, seriously, there's so many videos that you've tagged me in. I haven't even watched all of them because I don't, like, why? You just repeat yourself. You're like this boring hag. And I pray on the weak, and that's what you are. A weak-minded person. So, yeah, you, you guys can keep validating me if you want and complaining about how much you don't like my videos, okay? But I already knew that before I uploaded them, that you weren't gonna like them. I already knew that. You were the only one that didn't know that. <laughs> you can't get your lols, your cow lols? Or why? Why can't you get your cow lols from me? I told you you wouldn't be able to. Cause you'd see yourself the way you are and you're hideous and gross and disgusting. And you have no good in you. And you don't even want to have any good in you. You don't want to try to be better people at all. You never have and you never will. So you're trash. This is a message from God to you. You're done. <laughs> wow. Um, so why can't God spell? Why does he have really bad grammar? Because you're terrible at that. Okay. So... I found a funny video that I want to share with you guys. And hold on just one second. Check on something real quick, which I think is hilarious. Excuse me. I have to do one thing real quick. Yeah, it's, <clears throat> I have one of those browser extensions. Yeah, you should probably get one. It allows me to go directly to the channel and the URL. So that was fun. I love how she proves that she's not upset by spamming my chat with racist and homophobic names. I just love it. Like, wow. Like, you must be really upset. I'm so sorry. Actually, I'm not. Uh, did she learn how to felt in the bus stop? To, I have no idea. No idea. She probably needs to figure out how to get a job application. She should really start there. Um, I don't like being in her head. It's yeah, it's great. Yeah. Yeah, she's very stupid. Let's spam the chat because we don't have a better argument to you. She's <laughs> simping, right? Oh, Diet Shanny of every horse is upset, guys. <laughs> violins in the chat. Everybody put violins in the chat. Oh, no. <clears throat> I don't know whose name that is, but yikes. No doxing in my chat. Aw. Now you're doxing and using racism. Love it. I just love it. Seriously, if you're going to be racist towards me, you have to do something at least funny, okay? Because I've pretty much heard it all at this point. Why do racists all have to be so fucking stupid? Like, they, they don't, they're not ever funny. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay. So there is something else I wanted to show you guys. And shout out to Shanny for Life. 
since uh, um, what is her name? Uh, Florida Badger of the bus stop. Oh, no, wait, I'm sorry. It's what is it? Wish version of Shani, whatever her name is. So apparently she's very upset uh, because in one of the streams I did over a year and a half ago, um, we were laughing at the fact that Shani was talking about how she doesn't wear underwear. And of course, those of us that have been around know that she's done porn and they were very open about it and would do stream after stream about it, right? Um, but again, she didn't understand this because, well, she doesn't know anything. And instead of asking, she flipped out over people talking about Shani's panties. Well, Shani doesn't have panties, right? And she didn't understand the cat piss song. And she doesn't understand that that comes from a stream where we got that from them. Like, they're the ones who said that, not us. And we just made fun of it. So Shani for Life did an awesome video called Shani's panties beer. And this is amazing. And shout out to the moron that this dream is for. Hey, everybody, it's me again, Shani for life. <laughs> sorry. Can you say sorry, sorry about, sorry about that vote. Yes, we had some technical difficulties. Yeah. Jason Revelation is uh, also here. Okay, let me just fully submerge. Oh, thanks. The that helped. Okay, there, there Shani, we go. Oh, there we go. Okay. All right. So, um, as you know, we were talking about the premium beer that yeah. we're going to be selling as an investment opportunity, and we already have one buyer, Drag Not Silvis, who asked for a case of the unfiltered, uh, fully yeasted beer. So thank you very much, Drag Not. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for your support. And uh, Jason, do you have a surprise for us? Yeah, I do have a surprise. Let's start. Oh my goodness, what a wow. lovely logo, Shannon. Look at beer. that. Jason, that looks wonderful. Oh my goodness. Look at, <laughs> it even says sweet, just like Shani's shiny little cooter. All right. <laughs> and uh, are there any more surprises, Jason? Yeah. That's we amazing. Have a jingle for our beer. All right, everyone. I am a classically trained singer, uh, soprano. <laughs> singer. And I just wanted everyone to know that uh, I it. haven't warmed up properly and I'm a little bit shy, but I'm going to try and knock this out for you, okay? <laughs> me, 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 me. <laughs> When your life is filled with hopeless <laughs> fear, Shanny's, Shanny's penny is beer. Oh my God, that's amazing. Oh. Dang, oh my gosh. Okay. Shanny for life, where are you? Okay, I'm going to give you a wrench and I want you to put the link to your channel. Hold on one second. Yes. Put the link to your channel in my chat. Like your videos are hilarious and just like Fat Photog and so many of these other channels, you guys should have way more subs. So definitely when she, when she posts it, I'm going to pin it. Thank you, Chubb the Cucumber. Need more truffles. Yes, I think they do. Because meat, that they need more meat. <laughs> I can smell fupa foam from here. Oh God, that's so gross. That's amazing. Yeah, so please get the link to your channel. I think I'm going to play another one of your videos. Actually, let me see. Um, while I'm here, let me see if XX Archive was able to grab Shani's Twitch stream from today. Not sure if she has. Okay, no, that's okay, because I think I have it. Let's see, going stream. Okay. So I'm going to play another one of their videos. Um, there was another one that I was going to, oh, yes. Oh, yes. You guys remember when she, um, she'd punch her wrist? This is another really, really funny video. I'm going to play this while I, um, get Shani's Twitch stream from today. Hey everybody, it's me again. 
<laughs> Shanny for life. And as you can hear, I'm crying. And my feelings are hurt because I had a birthday recently. And no one, not even one person, said happy birthday uh, or gave me you. any gifts or Thank did you. anything for me Thank that you. could be considered no. remotely uh, uh, any form of kindness. Just everyone just heaped violence and abuse on me. Like, oh, Shanny, you should lose some weight. You should get a job. And you, you should make a plan for your life or success. You're wasting your, your best years away. You're almost I'm 40. Yeah. So every man I have ever known, I'm every I'm man chasing. every man I have ever known has been so violently me? abusive to me my entire life. I'm all chasing. filled with lies. All, all filled with God, all filled with cheating and evil and never giving me gifts or money or wings <laughs> or perfume or any kind of presents. Just no one just no encouragement. <laughs> and they starve me. They starve me horribly. No. Every man. And I love how it's the guy that's playing Shanny. That's hilarious. You know not, what? Not just Jason. not just the, the hey, just, just, not not just the men. Me? Please, not just the men, but just everybody. I no see. one, Jason no one see. loves me. <laughs> no one cares. Jason no one cares. cares. Jason, would you just shut the fuck up while I'm telling my truth? <laughs> oh my gosh, that's hilarious. While well, I'm telling my truth. Okay, so let me go to Twitch because Shani did a. An apology. Okay. So, yeah, it is total bullshit, but we're gonna, it's, it's very quick. Okay. So this is what Shani posted today. Um, her and G-Man are feuding. And so she's trying to apologize, I guess, to me, thinking that somehow I'm going to lay off. Yeah. Nope. You're welcome, Shani, for life. You're funny. Really funny. <laughs> so I can hear somebody flushing a toilet. That's, that's classy. Love it. All right. Uh, all right. Um, hi, guys. Um, I know it's been a while, but um, I've been going through a lot. And um, I, I turned on YouTube. I shouldn't have. And um, saw... A G Man video and it had my face on it and it was a picture of um of my face imposed on someone punching someone and it turned out to be someone called Burnt Toast. I don't really know who this person is. I know they make videos about me, <laughs> but Okay. So already she's lying. She knows exactly who the fuck I am. They've put my name in titles in the past. I had an intro that I sometimes use in my videos where she's screaming my name into the camera. She knows who all of us are. I don't know why she's pretending to be this now, but I think, like I said, I think it has to do with the fact that she's feuding with G-Man right now. And she's trying a way to pick at him because he's been picking at her, you know? Um, I just want to go and apologize to burnt toast and and tell burnt toast that i never agreed to that picture um i i i never i i would never condone a picture like that i don't <laughs> condone violence what i worked very guys she's beat up everybody in her life and gone to jail for it but she doesn't condone violence Oh my gosh, this is this is hilarious. Hard through therapy to correct um, certain violent tendencies I've gotten because of abuse, 
And, um... Yikes. I find it very insulting that he would put me in such a violent display towards someone that I don't even know. Okay, first of all, it's just a thumbnail. It's not that big of a deal. Okay, clearly it wasn't you punching me because we've never met in real life. So it was just a thumbnail. I thought it was cringe because that's what G-Man is. He's just cringe. But again, I don't think that she's really upset. I think that she's trying to pick a fight with G-Man. She is doing this thing where she wants G-Man to come back at her so that she can say that she didn't start the argument. And that's what this is. Um, especially when... You know, most of the time I'm preaching and talking about peace and not going after people. And it just, it really, it really disturbed me. And it, like, it makes me wonder if he sees me that way. Like, I, I hit people, I hurt people, and I don't. You do. Uh, you do yes and um i i just i don't condone it yeah she's mad exactly fat talk she's mad because he's cutting them off yes so g-man is having minor surgery but he will be out of work for quite some time afterwards i don't know what it is he isn't saying but that's what he said on his live stream like yesterday or the day before and so he also said that because of that, he's cutting them off financially. So he's at a certain point, he's not going to be giving them money anymore. And that's why she's upset. Because what does Shani do? She turns on people. It at all. And I'm so sorry, Burnt Toast, of any misconceptions you got toward me or anything like that. Um... <laughs> I told G-Man I don't want him to speak about me anymore or talk for me because Yikes. really he he doesn't really know me if oh. he's posting pictures like that. Uh, did you know that he talked about you again today and threw you under the bus? Yikes. Might want to check it out. Um, I'm a pacifist, a practicing pacifist. <laughs> I know there were... Pro times in my life where wow. I failed at being a pacifist. Like when you abused your kids. But ultimately I am and I want peace and harmony for the rest of my life. Peace I don't want to be in a state of constant conflict and for some reason G-Man he gets in these moods where he, he wants conflict with people and I I can't condone it. Um, mm. and, and him trying to bring me into a middle of a fight that I I don't have the strength to even do or I don't even want to do. There's she's, no will to fight. She's dying, guys. <laughs> at all. And there never will be a will. Huh? I'm going to go get us something. And that's Jason talking in the background. They're still in the hotel. He's still there with her. Nothing's changed. But um, it'll be interesting to see what they do. Uh, his friend is letting them stay in the motel basically for free because they know each other from like high school or something. So they at least have a roof over their head, but I'm not sure what they're going to do for food because like I said, G-Man is cutting them off for reals. Uh, <laughs> yeah, exactly, Melissa. Yes. Yeah, she has. Shani looking rough even for Shani. Yeah, I, I'm sure that she's not cleaning herself she's not sleeping and i'm sure that her being stuck in well that's what she did normally never mind i was gonna say being stuck in a room and not being able to go anywhere is kind of what she does so yeah she's probably eating all of the food stamps yeah i'm sorry but you can't sustain 600 pounds unless you are eating the calories to sustain that so i feel sorry for jason but i don't pity him yeah yeah, he, he's done just as many bad things as she has. Would food stamps be enough to feed them? Food banks nearby might help. There have been so many people that have given them uh, directions to a, a food bank when they were living in the house uh, with G-Man. There was a food bank within walking distance. They refused to go. 
People have offered them jobs. People have offered to help them with their resume, to help them get a, something to make some money. They refuse. People have given them suggestions, including myself, have given them suggestions on how they could make money on YouTube. They refuse. So I'm not sure. Um, betting her food stamps was decreased heavily once she lost custody of the boys because that's the only reason she got so much originally. I think you're right. How are they still eligible for EBT without the kids? Uh, they have some kind of program there for people who are indigent. So. Volunteer at a food bank and burn calories. Great suggestion. They, she would never do that. <laughs> she would never do that. Very odd they don't use resources. Yeah, it is very odd. Because there's also charities, homeless shelters, churches. There's all kinds of support there in the same town where they live. But for whatever reason, they're just too lazy to get up and actually say, can I get a bag of groceries? I think a lot of it, as far as the food, is that she doesn't she doesn't want to cook food. Like, she doesn't want to have to deal with all of that. She wants a fat bastard sandwich. She wants Taco Bell. She wants pizza. She wants McDonald's. She wants people to give her money so that she can buy drugs and fast food. She doesn't want to actually have to adult. Amazing how many people let them be leeches. I wouldn't offer them water. Yeah. Yep. Are they still in PA? Yes. Food bank banks don't give the right foods for them, right? And that's probably what she's going to say. Oh, they didn't have anything I can eat. They buy crap at the gas station and dollar store. That's correct. Mm -hmm. He's an alcoholic, like a raging alcoholic. She has an extremely unhealthy, toxic relationship with food. Um, she pops all kinds of pills to get high. Um, she, like they've, they've talked about how they go to the store and will go from store to store to store to get Benadryl and then try to take that so that she can pass out. She is drug seeked at various hospitals claiming to have pain when she really didn't. And then when they go there and they give her a shot in her ass instead of a bunch of pills, she gets upset because even they realized she was drug seeking. You don't ever give cash to addicts, okay? You don't. If they need food, you get them food. But if she's not even willing to get off her ass and go to a homeless shelter and get a hot meal, that's on her. That's on her. Uh, Nick James, thank you so much. I called it. I know G-Man. He couldn't help them for long. Jason going to burn that bridge. Can't say, stay in the hotel for free for long. I don't know. I don't know, maybe they burn the bridge with the friend, but apparently they're able to stay there for free because the friend is, oh, I'm going to help Jason out. Um, to qualify for a lot of help, she has to be willing to work. None of those programs will support anyone forever. That's another excellent point. She doesn't want to work. She told her parents and all of the internet, when she started dating this guy, while she was still married to her ex-husband, by the way, that was also online. But when she got with Rev, she told everybody that he had all this money and she was never going to work again. And she's just kind of stuck in that. And of course, Jason, he's a spoiled brat. He's never worked a day in his life. So... Shammy, Shani is scheming to get her kids and welfare back, but she won't. Yeah, it's not going to happen. Yeah, it's not going to happen. I feel bad for whoever has to clean that room when they leave. Yikes. Considering how they've left the other places that they've lived, I cannot imagine. This best thing for them is to be kicked out. Then they'll finally hit rock bottom. You would think so. I, I don't know. She's, I, I think you underestimate how incredibly lazy they are. The reason they do not take advantage of services is because it is work. To go to a food bank, she must have to line up at 7 a.m. on Saturday morning. Ah, yep. <laughs> You're sure the motel is spotless. <laughs> 
Um, if you're on food stamps without kids, they do require you to look for work and be able to prove you're looking. They'll probably lose the stamps if they aren't already. Wow, that's interesting. Yeah, there's actually been people, um, like I said, who have offered Rev a job. G-Man said that he offered Rev a job doing construction and he, he wouldn't do it. So, yikes. Yeah, poor cats. Yeah, I hope that the cats are rescued eventually because they've already killed two guinea pigs. Um, I'm fearful that they're going to starve the ki the cats as well. Can you imagine dental hygiene, folks? Yeah. Right? Oh, boy. <clears throat> yeah. It's really sad. So I love how she just ended it <laughs> in the middle of nowhere. So, I have not watched this yet, but this is a new uh, Shanny for Life video. And I guess we can end with a palate cleanser, folks. Shout out to Shanny for Life. Hey, folks, it's me again, Jason Revelation. And it's me again, Shanny for Life. Hello. Oh, it's so, so humid out here. Huh? It's uh, actually so quite hot. a lovely day, Shanny. Lovely day for mosquitoes. Huh? I'm, I'm so glad we are doing this. Yes, and mm -hmm, a picnic <laughs> with no food. But we have no money. But it's uh, nice to get outside yeah. sometime, you but know? You, but you brought water? <laughs> Yeah, I did, Shani. Excuse me, ma'am, sir. I'm the park warden. I'm I'm very sorry, but some families complained about the um the stench rolling down the hill, <laughs> out downwind of you. I'm sorry. Uh -huh. If you look over, I know I'm. I sincerely apologize. Uh -huh. If you look over there, I marked an area that you can sit in where the wind is uh not so strong. Thank you for understanding. Yeah, I yeah, that is all. I know, sir. It happened. Uh -huh. Oh my gosh, that's funny. Bravo, bravo. Um, what's this funny channel? Yeah, let me get the link. I'll get you the link to that video and then you can find the channel. So here's the link to the video I just played. And I'll put their link in the description when I'm done. And somebody asked, uh, do you think they're in a tent? No, they're in a motel. They may end up in a tent, but as of right now, they're in a motel. <laughs> yeah, so that's the link if you want to uh, watch and sub up. That was really funny. Well, guys, uh, I don't got uh, anything more to show you because apparently this, this bitch is so boring. I had to fill it with more Shanny content. So I hope she appreciated that. And um, I just want to show you guys. The person that says she's better than all of us, the most beautiful out of all of us, and that she is coming for us, guys. Are you ready? Are you ready? Boom. Mm. Are you scared yet, guys? Are you scared? We're shaking on our boots. <laughs> yeah. Clearly, you aren't sleeping. Get some sleep. Some therapy. And for the love of God, don't talk about shit that you don't know what you're talking about. Ask questions like an adult. We can give you videos and screenshots, okay? But um, go ahead and read into the void because um, from this point forward, I'm, I'm pretty much going to ignore you. So go ahead and say whatever the fuck you want. But I, I, I really appreciate the fact that you are too, too much of a coward to actually come into my chat to talk to me. But instead, you had to be a racist, homophobic bitch. So way to prove me right. <laughs> Genius again. So anyway, guys, I will play you out with a song. Oh, I know. I'll play you out with the money song since she's so butthurt that everybody is making money and she's not. So thank you to everybody who donated. Thank you to everybody who became members. You do not have to, but I appreciate it. As always, if you have questions, put it in the in the chat. I do interact with people who leave comments. I'm very accessible on Twitter, email, all that's in the description. 
feel free to uh, ask me a question. If you, if you aren't sure, just ask. And there's a story for everybody that is on my channel. And if you are confused as to why people are so upset with someone, please ask. And I'd be happy to send you the videos or the channels where you can watch it for yourself and make up your own mind. Thank you guys. And you have a great day. And um, for those of you who actually have a job, have a great work day tomorrow, later. Well, oh my God, it's like... <laughs> money ah uh, folks you know it's a speech folks yeah i'm glad i didn't light that cigarette folks yeah right up church man yeah a lot of people in the know like us yeah what's the season after winter money money money, money. i want money she wants money, money, money. You people are making money off of us. Money, I want money. She wants money, money, money. If I'm gonna appear in videos for entertainment, I want money, folks. I want money. She wants money, money, money. You people are making money off of us. Well, oh my God, it's like. <laughs> If I'm gonna be your fucking Brad Pitt, I want a paycheck. Money. Like, holy shit. You got that? <laughs> what? Yeah, money. If I'm gonna be your entertainment, I want a fucking paycheck. Anyway, back to the back to the story. Blood Rakur, drank your blood. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, that track cool. Oh my god. Money. They pay they bread, 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 bread. Good, good fucking money. 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 They pay they bread, 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 bread. Good, good fucking money. 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 I want money. 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 She wants money. 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 You people are making money off of us. Folks, I want money. Money, money. She wants money. Money, money. If I'm gonna appear in videos for entertainment, I want money. Folks, I want money. Money, money. She wants money. Money, money, money. You people are making money off of us. Uh, well, oh my God, it's like. <laughs> Uh, what else can I say? Oh yeah.